In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options umbrella design slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here uh, some raindrops are falling onto the umbrella. And then you can add the option. These colors I have used here. This is the title one. Add the detail text and then different here drops or the raindrops. You can just give some different colors according to the requirement. And these tear drops or the raindrops will fall continuously. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this. If you're using the older version like 2010 or 7, then some features may not be available. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size, something like this, you can see here and put it in the center and then I'm going to cut this the circle into two halves. So I'm just going to select this one and you can see here from this point, I'm going to cut the circle so i'm going to select the first the circle hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape i'm going to make it subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this so shape outline make it no outline so depending on your requirement if you want to increase the size you can just simply hold the shift key and increase the size and make sure to align it center so once this is done i'm going to right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to little bit uh increase the transparency effect then hold uh, then uh, press the ctrl d button to duplicate this one again i'm going to put exactly here and then give some different color and i'm going to reduce it from both end you can see here from this side this much and from here i'm going to make it this much all right so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it and then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d and give some different color and later on we can change the color not a problem again i'm going to put this in the center and here again from this side also i'm going to reduce and from this side also i'm going to reduce you can see here something like this all right so we end up getting a shape like this then what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape and make it no outline and then increase the transparency again zoom in and then i'm going to cut this part okay so for that i'm going to do something like this you can see here just place it let me just zoom in further like this you need to put it and again press ctrl d and this one also it should get cut from this side all right you can see here just make sure that it is properly uh, put it this side and again I'm going to press ctrl D and this side I'm going to select and make it the red one and increase the height a little bit and you can see here like this I'm going to make it till this end make sure that this end has to be properly aligned all right and once this is done this two again i'm going to select hold the control shift key and drag it here and then again align it properly let me just zoom in again and then i'm going to select only this part and i'm going to align it properly you can see here and this also i'm going to align it properly till this end all right so now we end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a to select all also go to format merge shape and i'm going to say fragment all right and then i'm going to select the bottom part only and press the delete button so you can see here we end up getting a shape like this and you have got different different parts now so now let me just give each color so i'm going to give maybe red color here i'm going to give maybe the yellow color i'm going to give some green color here and some teal color and some darker color all right whichever color and then i'm going to select and remove the transparency effect it is more darker all right let me just go and remove the guides also 
go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape at the top shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to place it exactly in the center like this all right just make sure that it is in the center if you want you can give some more darker color let me just zoom in and I'm going to place it here like this all right and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select this shape which is the flowchart delay and I'm going to design like this give the same color shape outline no outline rotate it I'm going to make it flip uh, rotate left 90 degrees and again put it exactly in the center okay once this is done you can see here we got a design like this again if you want to reduce the size you can reduce it like this also and then make sure that this is in the center and if you want to give some gradient fill also you can give so select the gradient fill here i've used uh, the three different colors you can see here you can select the radial and you can choose anything here and you can just give some different colors here this also you can give the gradient and then i'm going to choose some dark orange here you can see here this one and i'm going to choose the same color all colors i'm going to change choose the same and then i'm going to more color and then i can increase or decrease the shading here all right here i want more darker go to more colors increase it like that you can give a different shading all right so once this is done let me just add the handle go to insert shapes for this i'm going to choose the shape which is this one which is the block arc draw it by holding the shift key like this reduce the width shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any dark color tan color and then i'm going to rotate it which is vertical and i'm going to put it here and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color let me just zoom in and properly align it you can see here if you want smaller also you can do it and then you need to adjust this one if you want like this so you can see here this one let me just send this to back go to format send to back if you want to reduce the size you can just reduce the size like this also but i recommend not to reduce it so you can see here we have completed the design of the umbrella now it's at uh, time to add some options then go to insert shapes and from the uh, basic shapes i'm going to choose this one which is the teardrop draw the teardrop by holding the shift key you can see here and if you want you can just increase it a little bit shape outline no outline and then i'm going to hold the alt key and then right arrow key like this you can use left and right to rotate it and then hold the shift key i can just reduce the size depending on my requirement so i want six uh, tear drops here so the first one then hold the control shift key second one and the third one then i'm going to select all the three hold the control shift key and add to the right side so once this is done you can choose a different color using the teardrop you can see here like this the using the the eyedropper sorry so now for this one i'm going to give green for this i'm going to give this color and for this i'm going to give this color this color is not clearly visible so i'm going to give some other color you can see here i can just give maybe uh, this blue and then i'm going to select here and this one i'm going to give this tan color and go to insert text box you can add the detailed text equals lorem within bracket one i'm going to delete the unwanted text and then i'm going to make it center align reduce the size and font size and font color also you can change it 
again hold the control shift key add it at the bottom and then select all the three hold the control shift key and add to the right side so you can see here like this you can add the detail text if you want you can add the heading also and then i'm going to select this teardrops bring it here you can go to format give some light color hold the shift key you can select you can reduce the size like this all right and then let me just zoom in and then you can add multiple tier draws by pressing ctrl d you can see here like this randomly you can just add as many as you want over the top of the umbrella you can see here if you want you can just reduce the size this is a little bit uh, big you can see here like this all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one when i'm selecting this one zoom in you can see here this also got selected so i'm going to deselect this one you can see here let me just first let me just group it press ctrl g to group it let me just select once again all using the help of mouse and then i'm going to remove this now i'm going to give the animation effect go to the animations enable the animation pane uh, add animation and say fly in fly in should be from top all right then here you can select all right mouse click uh, effect options and then go to the timings repeat until end of the slide all right click ok and here you can delay some teardrops you can see here i'm just randomly selecting and then i'm delaying that one why i'm doing that one is the drops will not come all at once it has some different you can see the timings now if i click here it comes like this all right so this is how you can make this umbrella slide